was uh, back when Justin was going to school in Bellingham, and uh, he just brought this flower child home with him. She just, she's a, she is, she's a flower. And it's, uh, they were just meant for each other. You know, I mean, they just really loved each other, and they were comfortable with each other, and they were, they were good for each other. So that's, that's the kind of thing that a dad likes to see, a parent likes to see. Justin brought Catherine to our house one evening. It seems like it was in the fall. I, I'm not really sure. And I just remembered she just seemed to be a, kind of a energetic, uh, interesting young woman. Well, I met both of you about the time that you were meeting each other. Well, and when we first started working with Catherine, we were, living, we were staying in Bainbridge Island doing this house, and there was this Justin guy that I'd never met. Uh, I'm not, I think it was maybe the spring of 2002, and I responded to an ad in The Stranger <laughs> to fill the sublet that Catherine was going up to live on some island in Canada and work on some natural building project, and I responded to an ad to come and live, sublet their house for the summer. Um. I don't, it's all cloud and mystery, like when I first actually met you, Catherine and Justin, um, it's blurred. Congratulations from your second mom. <laughs> I've known her longer than any of you. <laughs> Before birth. I met you through my dear friend, Len. So I met Catherine and Justin on the winter solstice. We were standing around a fire, this is up at Prague Tree Farm, singing songs about light about bringing the light back in. And Catherine sang a song, and I didn't even remember what the words were now, but I just saw her across that fire, and I saw her eyes just glowing like they do, <laughs> even when there's no fire around. And I just thought, that is a woman. Deep within my heart there is an everlasting calling, like the center of the sun, I radiate my love to all. And the more that I give, I can't <laughs> wish to it's the more that I live, it's what I'm living for. And Justin and I met at the uh, New Teachers Orientation in Seattle Public Schools and really connected there and, and uh, it was kind of a surprise to see him over at Catherine's house. We met Catherine about three or four years ago at the Natural Building Convergence in Portland, Portland Oregon. The very first time that I was here, I came to this um, celebration where they hired supersonics. And here is a guy, you know, an American guy, singing Spanish and singing Cuban songs that I, I heard from my childhood, you know? My first memory of Catherine is I had something moldy in my trunk and my car was really moldy. And Catherine just made sure she didn't ride in my car. And whenever I think of moldy cars, I think of Catherine. So when I, when I met Justin, <laughs> Uh, we were we were both aspiring percussionists who had uh, a fascination with Cuban music. I think because of the way it made us feel. I met Catherine several years ago at a natural building gathering at our house, um, and then didn't see her too much. And she showed up at Nova and started cooking us lunch, and that was just like she was nourishing all these people and so well loved.